Hi guys, my name is Kyle from C4 Depot and today I'm going to show you how to make a displaced body of water using a plane and a displace modifier. First thing we're going to need to do is come up here and drop us in a plane which will be our body of water. Next thing we'll do is go to, to our modifiers and add a displacer. Um, I like to group the two together. You can also make the displacer a child of the plane and it will, it will also work. But I'm going to group them together by pressing, selecting them both and pressing Alt, Alt and G. Uh, okay, next thing we're going to do is go to our displacer. Under shading, we're going to go to shader and add layer, add a layer. And we're going to be displacing this with some procedural noises that are animated. So we'll go into our layer and we'll go ahead and, and um, go to shader here, noise. And you can see... Um, the displacement was applied to the plane, um, which is a little bit blocky. So let's go ahead and go back to our plane and add in a little more detail. I'm going to go and make it 100 instead of 100 by 100 instead of 20 by 20. Back to our displacer, back into layer, and let's adjust this noise to be bigger, more swell-like, and um, you can see the nice smooth noise here as the size increased. Movement has three parameters, uh, which represent X, Y, and Z movement. Speed is a percentage of the specified value of movement. So I'm going to go ahead and put in a, a specified value, a percentage, 1% uh, speed, and movement will be 0.2X and 0.2Y. I'll hit play, and we could see now we have some nice smooth waves moving along there. So. I want to kind of layer some noises, so we're going to go back one, and this is our um, layer manager. Let's go ahead and add another noise. Um, we'll bring this down to say, I don't know, 20. We'll be using a smaller noise this time. We'll Again, we'll put it at a 1% speed and movement of, let's just say, 0.1 this time, and Point two again, and maybe 150 scale, and then we'll back up. Um, so here's our second noise. That's our first noise, and here they are uh, starting to merge together. See, we kind of have like a more random effect here, looking more like water. So for the um, for the smaller no. Um, waves water movement I'm gonna recommend doing it on the shader level so I am going to create a material down here and what I mean by shader level is adding a noise to the bump map so this will be done uh, checking on your bump add a noise in there and we'll go ahead and apply it to our object here and um, here's without the displacer you could see uh, here it is plain and with a bump so um, with the bump and now with the displacement so now we have three types of different noises going on so let's go ahead and animate this noise as well on our shader level we'll make it one speed um, point negative point one and two and I'm going to make this a little bit smaller, 75% on the shader. And I'm going to use displace turbulence instead of regular noise. Maybe bring that back up to 100. <clears throat> so now, when I hit play, you are going to see all these elements working together to create some water that is moving. And let's just go ahead and finish off this material. We'll, we'll go ahead and create a uh, darker color for the water. And we'll go ahead and add a Fresnel um, reflection and adjust it to be more water-like. We'll go ahead and narrow the specular 
hoping to catch some sun glimmer I'd make that a little bit taller and give it a little render see what we have look at that it's gorgeous displaced animated water now this object right here actually isn't very big if you wanted to make say a, a bigger seascape you would have to go in here and create um, a much larger plane and since it's larger now you need to increase the subdivisions and this the bigger this is the slower and more taxing it is on your machine and it's never really infinite so you're gonna have to play some tricks to maybe for example staying lower and you can see how slow my machine is now that I've added all those subdivisions staying lower to the ground um, to the water I mean to keep you from seeing the edge so I mean there's some limitations to this um, you can use this but I've made a tool to kinda of circumvent all the problems that come with working with water called Infinite Ocean it's on my site c4depot.com I'll show you a quick demo Infinite Ocean is a tool um, you just drop it in your content browser activate the ocean camera and no matter which direction I look no matter how far I move there's always water it's animated it's customizable here you can change all the swells the speed the seed of the noises used the subdivisions uh, changeable here and um, the reason I'm able to do this is because it's calculating water only where the camera is looking and nowhere else there's more detail up front and less detail far away and this is always moving with the camera so that you're never ever ever gonna run out of water here's the infinite ocean in action and I hope this video has helped you guys out a lot you guys have an awesome day bye